When setting up a batch renderer using Octane for Maya, the preferred formats are PNG or EXR. You can choose these formats in the common tab of the render window by going to the image format menu and choosing PNG, and then you have options for PNG 16 or 8 bit, or EXR. And again, you have choice for compression as well as pixel type 32 or 16 bit. And you can choose to save composite EXR, which will store additional render passes as extra channels. And this is discussed in more detail in another video. Once you've chosen your file format, you can choose to render a single frame with the extension at the end or name, number, and extension. This is usually the best bet, even when rendering a single frame. If you're just going to render a single frame, use this uh, format and then set the start and end frame to the same frame. Now these settings, of course, apply when you do a batch render using the render batch render command. If you're just rendering a single image, what you can do is and rather than trying to get an image out of the perspective view, we can set this to viewport 2.0, go to Windows Rendering Editor's Render View, and then set our rendering camera. Do a snapshot from camera one and turn off the gamma correction and then do an IPR render. You can adjust the settings here for the gamma using an imager node, or you can also turn on the gamma correction here. And then once the image has uh, rendered to your satisfaction, you can follow the number of samples down here, as well as the time it's gonna to take to render the image. But once you're happy with the result, you can choose file, save image, and you can save as a TIFF or any of the most common formats that are available here. It's probably best to save as a PNG when using the render view window. If you're gonna do an EXR image, it's a better idea to do a batch render, especially if you're going to use a multi-channel EXR.